Welcome back, Fred in the Shed. Now, a few weeks ago, I did a little video on a clip-on 60x microscope that went onto your mobile phone. And uh, it worked, yeah, reasonably well for what it cost. It was only a little cheap item. Now, I had a bit of problem with the eBay seller with that particular item. And uh, when I sort of ordered it, nothing sort of came, came through. And uh, then suddenly this turned up. So uh, I got in contact with the seller and said, you know, you, you've obviously sent me the wrong item. I didn't order this. Uh, I ordered the little sort of 60 times microscope. And he was ever so good. And uh, he said, I'm oh, really, really sorry. And I sent that from China and that turned up a few weeks later. And I said, well, I've got this sort of, you know, this thing here now. Would you, uh, would you like me to send this back? And he said, well, no, you know, you can sort of, keep sort of have a look. So anyway, let's, uh, let's crack into it. It's a little bit sort of crushed up. Um, you know, got the usual sort of like Pigeon English sort of thing on the packaging. I'm not even going to bother to read it. It says it's a good product, but it was free. It was a free product. I will have a look on eBay, find out how much these cost. I don't imagine they are expensive, but um, I will leave a, I'll find this and I will leave a link in the description. So, so it's a little bit sort of squashed and moshed, came through. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, well, here we go then. So this is the first one that comes on the little sort of clip. This is a fisheye lens. I will do some testing on the phone in a minute, and I'll put some pictures up using uh, using sort of these lenses. So, uh, yeah, film seems to be made, I thought it would be plastic, but it seems to be made of uh, aluminium sort of surround now, or aluminium, if you're, if you're American, of course. And this is the carrier there, just a very, very simple little plastic clip. Um, has a little pad there, so hopefully won't scratch the sort of back of your phone. And here's the lens itself, and uh, actually it's got quite a nice bit of weight to it. It's probably plastic. Feels like it could be glass. If I can get the camera to focus in a little bit here, here we go. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't. <laughs> I, th I think these are only a couple of quid. It actually doesn't sort of seem doesn't sort of seem too bad. So that one, as I say, that is a uh, that's a 180 degree fisheye lens. Little uh, little lens cap as well on uh, on these two, and this is a 0.675. That is a wide angle lens there. Again, uh, aluminium or aluminium sort of construction, and uh, a little bit. There you go. That was a little bit loose that one, but it might tightens up. And finally, ah, that's just the lens cap. <laughs> Where's the third one? Hang on a minute, what's going on here? Okay, um... Oh, right, hang on a minute. Ah, maybe the fact that unscrews... That looks like that maybe there's two lenses in one here? Yeah, okay, I thought, I thought I'd been done. I didn't pay anything for this, of course. Right, okay, so this one here, which... Oh, that, that is a that is a close-up macro lens, and then that appears to uh, attach to the 0.67 wide angle, and I suppose that gives you the uh, the wide angle setting. So we have a close-up lens, a fisheye, and a sort of wide angle. So going to attach these uh, onto the phone in a moment. I say the clip thing just basically goes on a bit like the other the other thing there, just sort of fits onto your phone, and that will go over sort of most. Cameras. This is this is a rather old um, iPhone 5S, so uh, not the most up-to-date phone, but certainly one for sort of do some sort of testing. So okay, gonna put it on the phone now, and uh, I'll go outside. I'll do I'll do some pictures with before and after the attachment of the lens, and then we'll have a look and see what we think. There you go. That was the that was the fisheye lens attachment, and it seemed to work actually, didn't it? I mean, there was there was a little bit of sort of distortion just around the very sort of perimeter of the sort of lens. I mean, you can't expect sort of sort of too much, but it certainly gave you a lot more sort of wider scope. Um, yeah, I think with perhaps just a tiny little bit of zoom on the phone there, you could uh, you could probably use that. I think that was sort of quite usable. Right. Okay. Next, um, we're going to try this little lens here. 
which is the uh, wide, just just a point uh, point four seven now, point six seven, just wide angle lens. So it's just give us a little bit more scope. Obviously, not as extreme as the sort of fish eye. So that's the next one we're going to give a go. Just looking back on the sort of playback on the phone itself here, I mean, you know, it does work, this uh, 0.67 wide angle lens, you'll see, you know, I'll just clip it on in a second, you've already seen this video, of course, but, yeah, I mean, it does work, but it, there is certainly a little bit of softness sort of going around the sort of the edge of the uh, sort of perimeter there, it does take the sharpness away. Um, yeah, you know, whether I think that's worth it or not, it certainly is a little bit sort of fuzzy, a little bit of barrel distortion there. So, yeah, I'll have a look on them when I've, done, I've actually downloaded the video off the phone, but, uh, yeah, not so sure about that. Okay, uh, finally, is this little, uh, sort of macro lens here. So we we're giving it a test on the sort of cutting mat here, and we'll sort of see, uh, we'll see how well we can sort of zoom in. Well, first, I'll, I'll do a zoom in on the phone, see how close I can get, and then see if the macro lens does make any difference. Although it's quite hard to sort of focus, this this macro lens is actually pretty good. I mean, you can see here. Look, I'm getting right in on the text on of this on this mat. I say it's struggling a little bit for focus, but uh, the lighting isn't very good. I haven't got sort of a sort of a spotlight focused, you know, push or directed towards the mat. But that's pretty damn good actually. Um, I wasn't even central looking at this. So. Yeah, I, I'm actually quite impressed with this uh, this macro lens. Oh, that's better. It's even better still. Yeah, absolutely. Um, to be honest, these these other two lenses, the fisheye lens and the sort of wide angle, yeah, they kind of work. But I just think there's a little bit too much distortion, you know, to go around. Um, but the the macro lens there. That worked especially well. I think, I mean, bearing in mind these things can be bought for um, a little under two pounds, because I, I did actually have a look. Um, it's worth it, I think, just to get that sort of close up macro lens. You're never going to get anything as close from your mobile phone just using the sort of zoom on the lens on the camera itself. So, universal uh, clip lens, good product. Maybe. I think the, the fisheye and the wide angle. Um, personally, they're probably okay for kids if you know just kids want to do a few sort of really weird selfies or maybe do a group kind of sort of uh, picture, something like that. For me, the, the, the distortion on these lenses, even though they're quite nicely made, sort of uh, aluminium there and uh, probably plastic, but even though they're quite nicely made, I probably wouldn't use those. But yeah, that macro lens, um, blown away by that. Um, I'm going to use that. That's certainly something that certainly when I'm doing sort of radios or if I want to use my uh, sort of uh, camera there on you know on the phone I haven't got my main camera that's sort of perfectly usable so that I think on its own is probably sort of worth it so it was a free gift and uh, yeah I'm gonna I'm probably got gonna get some use out of that so there you go just a another little video there oh you, also you get a little kind of why they do this you get like a little sort of bag as well maybe you could sort of put a pair of earrings in it or something and give it to the missus or I don't know anyway Thanks for tuning in. Bit of a sort of a sort of a funny video there, not usual sort of stuff you see. But uh, as I say, if you missed the one on that little sort of 60 times microscope, I'll put that on the end. As always, if you enjoyed the video, please give me the old thumbs up. I do really appreciate that. Also, if you've not already subscribed, um, I'll please consider giving me a sub. Again, I appreciate that. And there'll be a couple of videos that pop up at the end um, if you want to go away and have a look at more Fred in the Shed. But as for now, as always. Thank you very much for your view time. It's always welcome. Cheers. Thanks for watching. Stay safe. And of course, I'll catch you all on the next one. Bye now.